Hello everyone, and welcome to a new top list. In this video, we'll be talking about the best full-frame cameras of 2023. We'll be focusing on cameras that offer a good value for the money, so we won't be including cameras like Harry or Black Magic that cost $6,000 or $20,000. We also won't be including network cameras. Instead, we'll simply be talking about full-frame cameras that are performing very well at this stage of the year and that, honestly, offer great performance both in photography and video. That being said, let's get started with the video. The Sony A73 is an extremely capable full-frame camera. While it doesn't have the highest number of megapixels or shoot the fastest bursts, its well-calculated combination of resolution, speed, features, and price make it an easy recommendation for all types of photographers and filmmakers. It features a 24-megapixel full-frame sensor and a fully stabilized body. It also boasts a Bionics X processor and a burst rate of 10 frames per second. ISO sensitivity ranges from 100 to 51,200 and has plenty of expandability. Maximum video quality is up to 4K at 30 frames per second at 100 megabytes per second in XABC and XABCS formats. It also offers other formats that are a bit simpler to compile and use in video editing. In this position, we have the Nikon Z5. The Nikon Z5 is Nikon's most affordable full-frame mirrorless camera. It looks and handles almost exactly like one of its siblings, featuring a high-end Z mount. It is built around a 24-megapixel sensor, which is not stabilized. This sensor is likely similar to the one found in the Nikon D750, although we're talking about a mirrorless camera here, so autonomy is much better, faster, and has capabilities that the Nikon D750 doesn't have today. We have a 24-megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor. The burst rate is 4 frames per second, which is pretty poor. It has an ISO sensitivity range from 100 to 51,200, expandable. It's not smooth, but for photography, we said that this camera is much better. So let's say that this camera shines in photography, regardless of whether it's my mistakes or not. We also have a flip-out, touch-sensitive LCD screen, which is very attractive on cameras of this type. We have a video quality of 4K 30 and 1080 at 60 frames per second. Panasonic Lumix S1R, the Lumix S1R is Panasonic's full-frame mirrorless camera. It uses a 47-megapixel sensor and is built around the Leica lens mount, developed by Leica and now adopted by Panasonic and Sigma. The S1R shares a body with the 24-megapixel S1, whose size and levels of dedicated controls set it apart from its other rivals. We have a 47.30-megapixel CMOS sensor, a Venus engine processor, and an ISO sensitivity range of 100 to 25,600. In terms of video quality, we have 5K at 30 frames per second at 200 megabytes per second and 4K at 60 frames per second at 150 megabytes per second. I have to say that it is one of the cameras that has the best video quality. I had the opportunity to have it in my hands a short time ago shooting some short films for some documentaries and honestly the video quality that Lumix always has is very sharp and incredibly detailed. The Canon R11 is the first full-frame mirrorless camera to use Canon's RF mount. It is built around the same 30-megapixel dual-pixel CMOS sensor as the 2016 EOS 5D Mark IV, but is designed for a new series of RF lenses. This camera is very versatile and will work well for almost anything. If you're going to focus on YouTube, it's possibly one of the most eye-catching cameras. However, for me, it has some hiccups that I don't like, which is why I don't use it. But it could be perfect for things that are very focused on video quality and don't need to record at high frame rates or in 1080p resolution at 120 frames per second. You'll have the famous Canon color in full frame, and I'll tell you, it's insane, it's super good. We have a full-frame sensor of 30.3 megapixels, native ISO sensitivity from 100 to 40,000, magnesium alloy construction that is resistant to dust and splashes, so you practically don't have to worry about rain and that kind of thing. We have a 4K video quality at 30 frames per second and 480 megabytes per second, which means that the video file is very heavy, but we have very good quality. Sony Alpha 1, this is Sony's flagship camera. 
featuring a 50 megapixel sensor that can capture bursts of up to 30 frames per second and record videos in 8K. This sensor also helps power the autofocus system, which currently comes with updated artificial intelligence algorithms to detect human faces and eyes. This means that many times we have focus on the eye, but if we have to record a dog or an object, it was very difficult to do so. With this algorithm, that doesn't happen in these kinds of situations, so we could say it's a big advance in camera technology for video. We have a full-frame Exmor RS sensor, a Bion's XR processor, and the ISO sensitivity ranges from 100 to 32,000. I mean, this is the native ISO, with this we can make super large expansions and I haven't talked in this video about how far each of these cameras can expand because we all know they go beyond 100,000. And most importantly, because we know that a higher start doesn't necessarily mean we'll have better image quality. With this I mean that people who are going to watch this video probably won't buy the first camera. They're looking for a full frame return, they're looking for things already to work at a professional level, that's why I can't say this is simply of great importance. We all know that when it comes down to it, lighting a set is essential to achieving good video, good image quality, or even good photos. Photography is light and it will always be that way. We have video quality that records up to 8K at 30 frames per second and 4K at 120 frames per second. So if we need a camera to already record music videos and that kind of thing, possibly the Sony Alpha one would be the right one. I have to say that I didn't include the Sony A7C, but it could be a good option. So if you ever want to buy a camera, you're into YouTube or you're already making videos formally, the Sony A7C could also be one of the best cameras. It's a very small full-frame format camera, and it's like the entry-level camera in this full-frame world, you could say. However, what it promises is very good, it has incredible quality of life, can record at high FPS, will record in very good color formats, has everything you need, microphone input, HDMI, battery life is good, and all that kind of thing. So guys, that's been the whole video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in another video.